Hello and welcome to CRA Diecast. Thanks for dropping by. Hope everyone's doing fine on this beautiful day. I was out and about today and I did pick up some new extra diecast. Got uh, something from Greenlight and a new set called Forza from Hot Wheels. It's a five car series and it looks fantastic. And then a few other little bits and pieces from Hot Wheels as well. But um, We'll start off with this green light casting. It's a 1971 Cadillac Coupe de Ville from their Vintage Ads series and it's a gorgeous casting. It looks pretty big. I'm not sure if it's actually 164 because it's a fairly big casting but we'll crack it open and have a look at it. Yeah, it's in a nice metallic green with a green vinyl top. It's got the nice hubcaps with the Cadillac crest in the middle and white wall tyres. It's got a green interior. Opening hood, maybe. No, looks like it should open, but uh, don't want to force it. Let's try again. No, it's not going to open, but uh, nice big chrome bumpers with the split headlamps and nice Cadillac grille with a little bumper overriders on the front and Cadillac crest. At the back they've tampoed the brake lamps and the little Cadillac crest on the boot lid and nice chrome bumpers. Yeah, this is a, a big casting. It's got the bench seat inside and a pretty well detailed steering wheel. Looks like they've tried to get it correct. I do recall the steering wheel looks very similar to the production model. But yeah, this is a great casting. I've got quite a few of these Cadillacs now. And a few of the Lincolns. I think the Lincolns are my favourite, but I do have a soft spot for these Cadillacs. And we'll just quickly zoom around. She's a big casting. That's a gorgeous colour, real 70s colour. The pale blues and greens. And then next I'll show you that uh, new Forza series. It's a five car set. Got the Porsche 911 GT3 in gold, BMW Z4. This looks fantastic, can't wait to open this one. And then the Jaguar F Type Project 7, which is same old, same old, keep releasing the same stuff. And a Bugatti EB110 in a nice blue and then like a new casting this uh, Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione so we'll crack this one open nice silver finish silver metallic is real metallic -y. if you put it out in the sun really sparkles yeah it's a nice job nice uh, bonnet emblem tampoed headlamps tampoed blackwash grill 
and the little alpha badge in the middle. And oh yeah, they've done the tail lamps. It's a uh, quad exhaust. Copyright 2013. Well, wow, this has been around a while. That's uh, plastic tyres, but uh, nice red rims, metallic red. So that's a nice little casting. Very happy to have that one. I do like the Alfa Romeos. And then the next one is a 94 Bugatti EB110 SS in like a powder blue. There's the card art, great nice card art. And we'll crack them open. I know this set's been out for a little while, but uh, it's like a die cast graveyard over here. But I went to a new shop and they had all of these new, they'd restocked the shelves and I actually found the whole set of this and um, the Fast and Furious set as well, which I'll open on another video. And here's a Bugatti, it's a nice powder blue, French blue, nice multi-spoke chrome rims. Forza graphics on the side. This is gorgeous casting. Twenty twenty release. Plastic headlamps, part of the windshield. Yeah, beautiful. And at the back, oh yeah, they've done the brake lamps and turn signals. Nice big wing. Yeah, this is excellent. And the next one is the 2015 Jag F-Type Project 7 in British Racing Green. Nice card art. And so we'll crack this out. It's a nice casting, but uh, it's getting on a bit. Nice British racing green metallic. I like the rims, black, black uh, fast slotters, and tampoed front. Nice black wash grill. Left hand. Yeah, left hand drive. Being a Jag, I thought it'd be right hand drive, but anyway. And they've done a great job with those brake lamps and the number plate. And again, quad exhausts. That's a stunning car, but yeah, they've made too many variations, you know, make something a bit different. And the next one is this BMW Z4M Motorsport, like a metallic mauve. And 
That's the car art. Looks fantastic. And there it is there, so we'll crack that one out. Again, nice chrome twin five slot rims. Nice striping on the side. It's got tinted windows. This is. Oh, I had it right. 2019 copyright. Nice BMW grille. Painted headlamps, unfortunately, and a bit of a diffuser down the bottom. Twin air vents on the hood. Forza tempos on the rear deck wing and the BMW M Sport colours red, dark blue and light blue and plain rear end bit of diffuser down the bottom but yeah this is um, really nice casting really happy to have that one sorry about the noise I'm on the flight path to the airport but yeah Really great to have that. And the last one from this set is a Porsche 911 GT3 in like a gold metallic. There's the card art, beautiful card art. There's the car. Oh yeah, this is a beauty. Nice rims. Forza Tempos, left hand drive. Plastic headlamps, nice Porsche badge on the hood. Yeah, it's a nice casting. Do like these Porsches? Got quite a few in the collection. Original copyright 1998, re released in 2022. Plastic wheels, plastic base, or is it? Yeah, I think it's plastic. No mirrors, but it's a nice gold metallic flake paintwork. So that's great. And they released a series a while ago called Speed Machines, and it was a five car set which included another Porsche 911 which I never got but the McLaren I've got the Ford GT the Lamborghini and the Pagani but uh, when I picked up this Forza Z they did have um, this one on the peg so I quickly grabbed that to complete the set and this is a beautiful casting it's from their car culture series and we'll crack that open I think this is one of their best editions yet. Yeah. This is fantastic. It's got the uh, real rubber tyres, they're slick tyres, but uh, beautiful bronze finished rims. Love that um, paint scheme, like French blue, white, and black. Stunning. And inserted headlamps, they've got uh, twin mirrors. 
big rear deck wing. And they've tampered the little marker lights at the back. And twin exhausts in the middle. Copyright 2021, made in Thailand. Yeah, nice uh, big splitter down the front. Yeah, this is stunning. Big flared wheel arches. From the latest Fast and Furious set, it's a 10 car series, but uh, you've probably seen them all. But I did pick up this um, Chevy El Camino in a flat black, this looked really nice. So. That's the card art, and there's the casting, looks really nice. So, Crack that one. No opening part, but yeah, it's a beautiful casting. Well lowered at the back. Nice flat gunmetal grey paintwork. Chrome trim around the windshield, and they put brake lamps and Chevrolet badge on the tailgate. Yeah, good job of that for a tempo. Nice chrome bumpers, a couple of twin exhausts. That's the bed. It looks pretty plain, but uh, they've done the door handles. That's a mean truck. Nicely done front end. They put the indicator lights in the in the bumper bar. Twenty twenty two release. It's a plastic base, plastic tires. But yeah, really nice casting this one. Very happy to film that one. And then from their basic line, they'll be getting the lead or Ballard from their Hot Wheels Exotics. This one's a real cool casting, gloss black. Yeah, nice paint scheme. Great job on this. like the choice of rims, sort of like an aero disc wheel. Twenty twenty two release, so fairly new. Looks mean from the front. Big air vents on the front. Nice powder blue paintwork. Gloss black roof. Yeah, for a basic hot wheels this is great. They've even tampered the, I guess their brake lights, that sort of Honda Civic type style brake lamps. But yeah, this is awesome. Very happy to have found that.
And then the next one is called Time Attack, a taxi from the Hot Wheels Metro series and looks like a that's in 1600, but it's uh, I don't know what that black blob is on the back. Is that a door? There's a car out. Doesn't, oh, it does open. But I don't know what you do with it. Sort of opens a little bit. Yeah, it does look like a Datsun 1600. It's unusual. It's got a taxi light on the top. Nice gold rims. Twin side mirrors. Copyright 2016. Oh yeah, it's quite nice. I don't know what those two big circle things on the hood are. Japanese graphics on the hood. Let's see what it says. Oh yeah, it's a unique piece. And then the last one is from the Factory Fresh. It's a Porsche Taycan Turbo S in metallic green. It's a card out. I do like these Porsches. And there she be. Got uh, tinted windows, tampoed LED headlamps, uh, diffuser down the bottom. This is twenty twenty release. Yeah, it looks nice in this metallic green. An awesome job of the rear with those indicator marker lights and Porsche script and turbo S on the number plate yeah it's a nice casting Alright, so that's it for today, my little haul for Friday. I'll just do a bit of a quick overview. That's a nice Alfa Romeo, the Bugatti, that's a stunning casting that one. The Jaguar, the BMW, really nice that one. The Porsche 911 and then the next Porsche 911. And what was that one? Oh, that'd be cool. Lamborghini, I think it is. And the Porsche. That nice Coupe de Ville. Gorgeous. Then the El Camino, then that time attack taxi. So thanks very much, appreciate you dropping by and having a look. 
If you enjoy this little clip, hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe. Subscription is free and it does help the channel out. And thanks very much and we'll catch you on my next video. So cheers for now.